Hey, James. It's nice to see you again, too, James. What brings me in this time? Oh, James. I'm so confused. I don't really understand what happened, I have to admit. But it's so close to Thanksgiving. And I want to be home for my little sugar puff this Thanksgiving. It's been a hard year. I like the new handcuffs, James. Before they were so close together, at least this gives me a little bit of room to move. Thanks for always thinking about my comfort. Are you going to be asking me some questions, James? Yeah. Sure, I guess I'll have a cigarette. Thanks, James. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm nervous. I say I'm nervous because I really can't tell you what I'm in for this time, James. It probably has something to do with Mr. Beale. Mr. Beale? Yeah. The guy I've been dating. I, I think he's just really quiet sometimes. He doesn't tell me everything that's going on. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You know what? I told my sugar puff I was gonna quit smoking. Does it count if you smoke in prison? No, I don't, I don't think it does. Thanks, James. Oh my goodness, no, James, I know, I know. Okay, so I was doing really good. I was, I was doing really good. And, um, I thought I was going to do even better because Mr. Peel came in my life. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, I thought for sure. I was going to get everything that I wanted and more. <laughs> but you know what, that thing, as soon as you think you're going to get what you want, the tables, they do turn, don't they? <laughs> oh, what was I thinking? You know what I should have did? I should have just focused on me and my little sugar puff and not worried about it. I should have just worked my little self to the bone like I normally do. I still was working to the bone. You know what? I really need to quit. I told my sugar puff I was going to quit. I'm just going to be a ray of just disappointment for this little sugar puff and I don't even know what to do with myself, James. <laughs> start now. That's right. I'm going to put the cigarette right out right now. Smoking is bad for you. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Is that for me, James? Thanks. <sighs> That's the problem. I don't know what I was thinking. That's how I always get into these messes, James. I don't know what I'm thinking, and I just do things. Okay, so 
you want to know what happened with me and Mr. Bill? Well, I thought we were doing good. Um, he was buying me some groceries. That's, you know, I look for somebody to take care of me. You know, all I want is a little help. A protector, a provider, and someone who loves me the way I am. And I thought maybe I found it. But you know what? I searched for love in all the wrong places. And I just need to focus on me and my sugar puff. That's it. Oh, and I feel so horrible because I just made that one choice and lighten up that cigarette. And that is so bad for you. Okay, good people make bad choices, but will I ever stop making bad choices, James? I'm glad you understand. You've been my ray of light ever since the first time I got in the pen. <laughs> yeah. You still dating that lady friend of yours? She seemed real nice. Seemed like she could bake a good pie. <laughs> uh, no? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, James. Well, I guess we're both on the broke up boat. <laughs> I don't know why Mr. Bill just stopped talking to me. So I was starting this new business because Mr. Bill, he is an entrepreneur. And I thought myself was really lucky. <laughs> I got me an entrepreneur. I'm really going places. This is what I thought. <laughs> But I really don't know what I'm here for. People just came into my house, busting it all up. Taking the supplies that I was supposed to get shipped out. And then, here I am. In the pen again. I was just about to get off probation. Oh. Well, this is just questioning, you said. So you don't really need to lock me up. You're what? You're testing my product. Well, honey, all it is is just some face powder. I was supposed to do the testing myself. That's what I was doing was testing it before it got shipped out to make sure it was a hundred proof whatever it is supposed to be the real thing. <laughs> I don't know all the ingredients. Did I really need to know? No, Mr. Bill's not gonna. So you're saying I should know the details of the things that I'm selling? I, I didn't know that, Mr. James. I See, that's what I need in my life. Someone smart like you that can help me out. You know, I didn't have really much family. And, um... I feel a little lost sometimes, and I'm just trying to do the best I can, you know. Do you got any plans for Thanksgiving, Mr. J? No, you know what, if you don't have any plans, and I don't have, well, I'll probably be in here, but if you don't have any plans, you can join my family. I don't think it's right to be alone on Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. James, you know you are pretty cute. I mean, I'm not trying to flirt with you or nothing. <laughs> but yeah. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what was in it. All I know is I was shipping it, testing it, and shipping it. That's it. Um, and he did buy, he put a big, he put a big storage shed right behind my house so he could put more in it, but he didn't bring any over. <laughs> I don't know. So 
Are you telling me? Oh. So all I have to give you is his information? Oh well, yeah, I might as well. But he, you know, I don't, I don't think he would do anything, like put anything bad. Here's your matches. You don't normally give inmates matches. You must trust me, Mr. James. You know, yeah, you have known me a long time. <laughs> there you go. I don't want you. I don't want to leave it. You know, some of these inmates kind of get crazy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. No, Mr. James. I don't know what's in it, but... So, but I'll tell you what. Like, he wouldn't even let me eat bad food. There was something bad in the food. He wouldn't let me eat it, so why would he put something bad in that? You know, he was particular about how I took care of myself and put my makeup on, and he told me, he said, I shouldn't use that powder. Yeah. Well, he... You know, that, that does bring up a good point, doesn't it? He said, I shouldn't use that powder because my skin was beautiful without it. And my complexion didn't need to have anything white on it. <laughs> he was so sweet. Yeah, it is, it's bad. That powder's bad. <sighs> so you're telling me I, are you telling me I didn't know? But are you telling me that I did something bad? I was giving something bad to people. But I didn't mean to. Well, I mean, I should just be here because I'm clearly not smart enough to be outside in the real world. But who's going to take care of my little sugar puff, James? Are you going to take care of my little sugar puff? Mm. You know what they say. It's just a nervous itch. I get a nervous itch. It's either that or you got the bed bugs back in this cell. I remember the cell down there last year had the bed bugs. And oh my god, do you know how long it took me to get rid of those tackle things? James, I am really good at taking care of people in the pen. But most of the people here don't want to take care of themselves. And you know that. Yes, I have always been self-sufficient. <laughs> I'm glad you noticed. I really like the new handcuffs, though. They're so spacious. It's like... Ooh. <laughs> it's almost like a jump rope. Yeah. Almost like a jump this is supposed to connect to your feet, really. That sounds kind of fun if you're doing it with the right person. I mean, I'm sorry, James, that you just ignore what I said. I think that was getting a little too personal. We haven't even been on a first date yet. Mm. Yes, James. Okay. So I did something illegal again without knowing again. And I'm gonna probably be in the pen again. What? What are you gonna do with the paperwork? The paperwork's gonna casually go in the trash. But don't you need your paperwork, Mr. James? I don't want you getting in trouble. You better make sure you file all your paperwork the way you do. No, 
Mr. James. Okay. Why are you telling me that you're throwing the paperwork in the trash? It's your personal business. It's not mine. What about the keys? Mr. James, you're confusing me. Oh, you'd like to come over for Thanksgiving, but I'm probably not going to be home. <laughs> I'm here, Mr. James, so we get to spend Thanksgiving together again. Mm. I mean, except it's not as nice. Yeah, Mr. James. Why, you leaving those for me? And you're going to the bathroom. And you don't want to see me whenever you get out of the bathroom. Well, that's not very nice, Mr. James. But you're going to see me on Thanksgiving at my house. Oh, I'm just confused. Okay, I guess I'll take the keys. And what you want me to do with these, Mr. James? I don't, I'm confused. Give the keys back to you. Okay. Mr. James. There you go. You're letting me go. Are you allowed to do that, Mr. James? Because I don't want to get caught up in anything that's wrong. Yes. You're allowed to do that. Okay. I'm really trying hard, Mr. James, to use my brain and make sure that I'm doing Every time I ask a man, is this okay, or is this, is this right, they lie to me. You're not lying to me. Oh my god, Mr. James, I want to believe you. I want to trust you, Mr. James, I really, really do, because you've always been there for me, but I'm really struggling. these for Thanksgiving, though? Okay, you'll take them off. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm just doing what you're telling me to. I sure don't want to be yelled at. Yeah. And if you're going to come over for Thanksgiving, could you maybe not yell at me because I'm kind of sensitive? I've been talking to the therapist and dealing with my anger issues, and now instead of being angry, I cry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. James. I, um, I'll see you. Okay? Um, what should you wear? Uh, well, I don't know. I've never seen you outside of the uniform. Wear whatever makes you comfortable, Mr. James. I'll see you very soon. 